Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. So uh, in the previous video or in the previous episode or in the previous videos of this particular playlist or in this particular uh, series, so we have done one API to update a student data. Okay, update a data in a Spring Boot application. Use a Spring Boot application and MySQL. So we have done an API to update a student data in our database. Correct. So now. In this particular video, what we are going to miss, see, uh, let me open my controller quickly over here, see, okay, controller, as you can see, we have done getting the student data means reading the data, which is R, Create, adding a student data means creating a student, so it's C, and updating the student data means it's U, so C, R, U is done, so now what we have left? with D means delete in the all the CRUD operation we have left out with D. So in this particular video we'll be doing or we'll be creating an API to delete a student data from a database based on that student ID or a role number something like that. Okay. So let's get started. So here now first go for the service because in the service itself we will be defining what all the methods or what all the different operations which has to perform in a Spring Boot application will be defined always in the has to be defined always in the service it's a procedure okay so let's say uh, let's write a method okay let's write a method over here okay so uh, yes before that uh, let me op open it open my uh, uh, postman ready so that uh, it, it will take some time to go, uh, open so let me open that quickly okay so here i'm gonna open it yes i have all right so let me define that a new method over here let's say public okay let's say public um i'm not going to uh return anything so i'll mention as void and delete okay delete student so here what i need to pass See, based on the student ID, I am going to delete that particular student from a database. Okay. So, I will mention as int ID. In our case, our ID is int, right? So, I will mention as int ID. All right. So, that's all simple. So, if you say this, in the IMPL, obviously, you will get an error because student service has been implemented. See, this particular class is implementing student service. Right. So let's import that means uh, let's add unimplemented methods. Okay, add unimplemented methods. So if you scroll down a little bit here, you can able to see uh, unimplemented methods as being added work here, right? So now let's remove this particular comment. Okay, which is there. Let's remove that. Okay. So now next. So next, what we have to do? Okay, let's we need to write a code for this. Okay, we need to write a code for this. Okay. So based on the ID we need to delete. Obviously, it, it this is a very simple API. Okay, very simple API or very simple uh, uh, code. Okay, so we'll, for testing purpose, let's open our MySQL workbench. Okay, let's write a query work here. Okay, so just assume that I want to delete Shizuka from the database. Okay, let's assume that. Okay, delete. Okay, delete from which is the table name students okay delete from students that okay okay that I, I need to give condition as that id is equal to okay id is equal to what is the id of shizuka is six okay just give a semicolon and run this code okay so if you run this and you can just directly click on this to run this okay see as you can see now Shizuka data has been deleted from our database. Got it? So now let's copy this query over here. Just copy that. Okay, copy that query. That's all. Okay. So now go to your Eclipse. Okay. So let's write a query over here. Okay. String. String uh, delete. Query. String delete query is equal to in double quotes. What are the query which you copied from your MySQL workbench? Just paste it over here. And at the end, give us some color. All right, so here instead of six, okay, instead of six, just remove that you need to give the ID which comes as an argument, okay, 
So after equal to give a plus, uh, since it is an ID, give it in single quotes, double oh, sorry, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, now we give single quotes, open double quotes, plus ID, plus close double quotes and close the single quotes. That's all, simple. Our query is done. Okay, our query is done. So let's try it. Okay, let's try it first. Means let's execute this. So very simple. I'm not going to type it again. I don't and I don't want to waste time. So I'll just copy this itself. Okay, just need to change the query variable. That's all. Very simple. Okay. So instead of update query, just mention as a delete query. That's all. Okay. See, use once. I mean, write once. Use anytime you want. Okay. See, same thing. It's very simple. All right. So now here. I'll just change the statement over here, print statement, student data deleted. Okay. And here I'll mention student data failed to delete. Okay. To delete. All right. Very simple. That's all. Same. Now let's go to our controller, student controller, and let's create an API for this. Okay. Let's create an API for this. So first, Obviously, uh, let's write a method quickly. Okay, let's write a method. So let's say like this. So public, just a second. Yes, okay. So let's say like this. So a little bit change over here. Observe that, okay. Public, okay, public. Uh, let's say void void delete delete students okay delete students so here you need to mention something okay here you need to mention something what since this particular see obviously this particular student is our uh, sorry this particular uh, method is expecting one object to be sent through our front end or a client client application right so here we need to pass something what that is path variable okay path variable so what is that path variable and I'll, I'll just tell you now just type it quickly i'll just tell you what, what is it. path variable okay path variable all right so int id okay so let's import this path variable quickly. I'll just tell you what I mean by this path variable. Okay. So now let's uh, call that method using student service. Okay. Student service dot here. When you click on dot here, you can able to see delete student. Okay. So inside this, just pass the ID. All right. So let's write an API. Okay. Let's write an API. So when it is deleting, okay. When it is deleting, you can mention it as delete mapping directly. Or there is a one more method, okay, and this is applicable for others also, okay. I'll just show you request, okay, request mapping. And inside this, you can able to use the method. I'll just show you method, okay, method. What type of method? Suppose if you are using, okay, suppose if you are using insert means you can able to use. Uh, insert or suppose if you are using update you can able to use update so now we are using delete so i'm just showing the another method of writing that's all so request okay request method dot delete okay com that's all so now let's import this request mapping work here very quickly okay so request all right done so i'll just show you one more thing at the end so here we need to pass something. What is that? The URL. Okay. Value. Uh, it's in smaller case. Value is equal to. In double quotes, mention the path. Okay. Just mention the path. And mention something like this. A student. Okay. Uh, let's say. Delete. A student. Delete student. Slash. C. When you are passing a variable through a front end means you have to mention something like this in a flower braces ID. Okay. So now, now I'll tell you the path variable. So when you mention like this means in a flower braces, so this is considered as this one. Okay. So this value, like suppose if you give one, 
one will come over here and that will go over here so the path variable is going to take the value from the url got it so now see request mapping where the method type is delete same thing okay or you can able to directly mention as delete mapping as well but i'm showing the one more method of writing and also see here previously for hello we have mentioned get mapping right i'm going to change this get mapping as request map okay request mapping that's all it is going to work actually it is going to work but when you want to mention for insert update uh, get the data uh, for get data also get mapping also request mapping is going to work obviously it, it is work no problem with that so when you are for insert and update you need to mention the request method as dot insert dot update something like that okay so let's save this all right so let's start our application so based on the id we need to delete a student okay so now i'll just uh, run this application okay see now if you want to run this particular api means okay wait wait here here i need to go yeah just a second i'll just stop the server quickly yes i forgot to add a slash to okay okay yes now i'm gonna run this application see now since i have mentioned okay since i have mentioned as request mapping and delete so here uh, it's not necessary uh, to you uh, to test this in a post map you can able to test it in a browser itself okay no problem with that okay so we'll try that okay yes so i have already opened my postman okay i have already opened my postman over here so now i'm going to get i'm mention i'm mentioning as get and i'll mention as hello it should work because we have changed hello from get mapping to request mapping so let me check whether my application got started so it is uh, still getting started okay okay let's wait let's wait Mm -hmm. all right yes started all right started yes it started so let's say hello obviously you should get the data without any errors okay so yes so now let's de uh, let's delete okay wait first let's call all the students okay wait wait let me open my browser so i'm just calling this localhost 8080 slash students okay means i'm getting all the data from the backend application means from our from my database so i have one two three four five total five students okay i want to delete a student called jack means what is the idea for jack is three so based on three i need to delete okay so change this method uh wait we cannot able to uh, use the delete in uh, browser i'm sorry because we need to change the method work here so let's select the method as a delete and what's the api name api name was delete student okay delete student slash so whatever the id you give based on that id the student has to be deleted so let's give the id i have mentioned as over okay, here i need to mention as three okay i'm gonna delete a jack okay jack name the first a student name jack i'm gonna delete and the idea of the jack is three okay so let's send the request work here okay so now okay wait delete is okay i have made a spelling mistake over here in the url stu okay stu d e n t so now let's send the request again so uh yes it's showing as one means it is perfect let me open my eclipse whether i got the message over here yes student data has been deleted so now go to your browser now and check okay chat data has to be deleted the number three so let's refresh okay so now we have one and the two and the four you don't have the third one so let's delete a data of nobita okay five id is five so go to your postman just change from three to five so send the request so now go to your browser refresh it see now as you can see one two four you have so let's delete the first student okay so let's mention as one and send the request so go to your browser again and refresh it see now you have only two data in your database so if you check all the data in your database okay select start from student so here you can able to see only two data which is Doraemon and Chris we have got it so this is how delete api is working how we are deleting the data 
from my database using Spimit application. I hope it is clear to you guys. Okay. So if you understood the concept, just give a like to this video. Okay. And subscribe to our channel if you are new to our, new to our channel means. Okay. So in upcoming videos, we'll be learning how we can able to do entire full stack application. Okay. Entire full stack application, including our front end and the back. Got it? All right. So that's all for this video. If you like this video or if you understand the concept, just give a like button. Just click on the like button and hit the subscribe button. All right. So let's meet in our next video. Until then, take care. Goodbye. Bye.